everybody. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, so nice. Welcome back to Beer Before Liquor with Big Bad Larry. I'm Big Bad Larry. We're having a beer now. It's a Presidente, the pride of the Dominican Republic. Oh, how good is that? Um, today, we're going to venture into Tiki Town for the first time. This is our first Tiki drink that we're making, and we're going to be making a jungle bird. Okay, so for the Jungle Bird, it's our first tiki drink. We're going to keep it a little bit light. A lot of tiki drinks are known for having a lot of what bartenders would call pickups. Literally, things that you're picking up sort of used as a barometer of how complicated a drink is. So this one's got five. A lot of tiki drinks famous for being invented in either the Caribbean or in like sort of East Asia. If you had one guess, camera guy, where do you think this is from? Too slow, it's from Malaysia. It's from Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia at the Hilton Hotel, the Aviary Bar. It was invented in either 1973 or 1978. We don't care, it's, it was made. It's evolved quite a bit since then. It was printed in 1989's uh, The New American Cocktails Guide, or The New American Bartender's Guide. Editors got that. It was also reprinted again in the Beach Bumberry's book, Intoxica in 2002. And then it was sort of finally revisited and remade by Giuseppe Gonzalez when he introduced blackstrap rum to the equation. You can use black rum, Gosling's or Myers or something like that. You can use any sort of like aged rum, but black rums are probably the, the one to use because they have all that like sweet flavor. So it's one and a half ounces of this, the blackstrap rum from Cruzan from the US Virgin Islands, three quarters of an ounce of Campari, one and a half ounces of fresh pineapple juice. Buy a pineapple. They're not that hard. They're not that weird, you know, and it's good. It's better. And then you have pineapple, which is rad. Lime juice and demerara syrup. You can make them all. You can buy them all. It's up to you. I made them all because I'm a star. I think it's time to build. Let's build. Let's build this drink. That's what bartenders say when they're going to make something. We're going to do ice into your big shaker tin. We're going to start with the Cruzon Blackstrap Rum. Cruzon, one of the only companies that really makes it in this way. Cruzon, of course, owned by Beam and Suntory, one of the evil mega corporations that run this industry. 0.75 of the Campari, so three quarters of an ounce of Campari. The same for the lime juice, three quarters of an ounce. Um, and again, if you're cool, it's fresh lime. If you're regular, it, you bought it at the store. And then one and a half ounces of the fresh pineapple juice, which is like way different looking than uh, bought pineapple juice, but I think it's gonna taste really nice and it's gonna froth really nice. And then one half of an ounce of the Demerara simple syrup. And that's, um, that's it. Now we're gonna shake it. And we know the rules. Don't gotta kill it, just gotta shake it. You wanna make it cold and that's it. Don't, don't pull anything. The original recipe called for four ounces of pineapple juice instead of the one and a half. That would have been a lot. It would have been too much, I think. So this is how you're going to do it. You want to have, if you got a whole pineapple, you can use the pineapple wedge and also maybe a pineapple leaf. That might be the better looking one we've ever done here. Uh, I don't like that. Silly. There we go. We're going to chug that as, um, that's not it's sort of my whole thing. And it's time to toast. You know when you're at a bar with your friends and someone, probably that one guy, and you know, you know the guy, is like, oh yeah, I've got a toast. And it's like a scripted toast that he like read in a Facebook post like 12 years ago. Going and being like, you know, arriba, abajo, centro, adentro, or some sort of canned toast about, oh, may everybody have wealth and a beautiful spouse or some shit. Why not just cheers to the people that you're with and say, hey man, have a good drink. Uh, that's, I think, what we're about here. So if you don't ever do any of the weird shot rituals, this is for you. And if you do, do, do your thing. No yuck and yums. I'm just saying I like it when it's more like, yeah, cheers, guys. Uh, but I do do this one. So right into that, I'm a hypocrite. Let's go! That's not 
One I recommend that you chug. I think you should sip that. Our first uh, foray to Tiki Town I think was pretty successful. Um, show me that you made the drink. You know, make it and send it to me. I love to see it. A couple people made the Michelada and it made me very happy. So yeah, that's that. Oh. Um, thank you guys so much for coming and, uh, you know, keep drinking. Okay, the scarf, the uh, scarf, scarf thing I think worked fine. That was fun, yeah. I almost like wanted to eat this because I was like, you don't want to waste garnishes, but this is not going to be a good time.